میخواد guys, Consocious Gaming here and today we're going to be talking about Black Ops 3 uh, I'm going to be telling you my opinions about it, what I think of the game so far um, You're going to be seeing some like, gameplay in the background It's a very nice gameplay, I enjoyed this game, it did very well So yeah, um, Black Ops 3 um, It's a very unique game, it's a lot different to Advanced Warfare Which I absolutely hated um, The like jumping suits and Advanced Warfare just in my opinion killed the game um, which is why I never bought it I only played it on my brother's playstation and it's very bad um, but yeah this Black Ops 3 with the little thrusters that you have um, it's a lot different to how Advanced Warfare, for Advanced Warfare was uh, so that's why I prefer it but yeah um, I I got it on the day of release and I've been playing it ever since and I'm pretty much addicted now. Um, I'm level 35 and I've got a good KD. Um, I'll show you that at the end of the video. But yeah, some things I like about this game. Um, I like the the customization of uh, camouflages. Like as you can see here on my gun I have this like pink thing on the side which really doesn't match but I don't know, it's quite a cool thing to have. Um, you can pretty much have any camo you want if you're good at creating them, which I'm not, so I just go for like some random pink thing on the side of my gun. Um, some other notes are that the zombies, the, uh, the map you get on Xbox One is awesome. Obviously it's not just on Xbox One, but on um, PlayStation you get the giant if you pre-ordered, which is the Doris remake, which looks cool. I'll get that eventually. Also, just a little side note, um, the gameplay you're watching now, it, the quality may not be the best and it may lag at certain points, but that's because it's pulled directly from Twitch TV, as I um, had to stream it to get the footage off of there, so yeah, that's why the quality may not be the best. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos from my Xbox on Black Ops, because I'm getting a new mic soon, so yeah, that should be good. Um, I really like this gun at the minute, as you can see I'm using it, it's, it used to be called the ARC on the beta, but they renamed it to something different, not sure entirely why they did that, um, but yeah it's now called the KN44, which it's my favourite weapon and you unlock it straight from the beginning, I've already max leveled it, um, I might even go to get it gold, um, I really like the the specialists you can be. Um, I use Outrider, which he can be the bow and arrow, or he can have the um, what's it called, the vision pulse, where he can see through the walls and it lasts for about f 10 seconds or so. You can see where all the enemies are, it's very helpful. Um, yeah, so I recommend using the vision pulse because it's very awesome, it's like a blackbird but you can see through the walls I don't really know how to explain it really so another point is the black market it has the um, supply drops I've opened one supply drop so far um, and I think they're an awesome idea they're pretty cool, you can unlock some rare items and I actually got a rare camouflage, which you will see at the end of the video. Um, one thing about this game that I don't like is some of the maps are very bad. Like, I don't usually like this map that I'm on now, but for some reason I played well. But usually I hate this map. Um, I don't know why, it's just too big and too... Um, I don't know what it is about it, I just don't like it, it's just too much going on, I don't I don't enjoy playing it, but right here, look at this streak guys, I'm just going to stop talking. And there we are, that was awesome. I, I was so raving when I got that little streak there. Um, I do carry it on for a little bit as well. 
But unfortunately here are just some newbie things and I die. By this guy. So yeah, um, the campaign of this game I haven't played yet. I'll do it eventually but at the minute I haven't even gone near it. Um, I don't know, hopefully it doesn't lead on from Black Ops 2 because if it does I do not remember at all. Um, some tips for this game. Um, I'd say try and do the free running mode if you've ever seen that. Use the free running mode, try and get some practice in with your um, thrusters, learn how to use them. Because there are some um, situations which you can easily get out of and avoid you dying or maybe getting you a kill. Uh, if you know how to use your thrusters, so I don't know if you knew this, but I didn't to start with. You can press and hold to fly up, whereas I used to just tap it. I'm not really sure why I did that, but I don't know. Maybe someone, maybe I can help someone. I got a specialist there, got him killed twice, so I got a double kill from his little specialist power up thing. Um. I don't really know what else to say about this game other than it's awesome and if you haven't got it yet I recommend you should because it's a lot different and it's quite easy to get into I think and it's like one of the better CODs that are on next gen at the minute because COD Ghosts is just dreadful don't, don't like that at all Advanced Warfare I've already told you I hate it and yeah this has got everything I basically like on this game, so well done to Triarch, they always always produce a good COD, whereas Sledgehammer just shouldn't even try and attempt to make another Call of Duty because they are dreadful. I really like swimming in this, um, it's a unique thing that you haven't really seen in COD, so you can have some awesome little uh, swimming battles. Um, the creator class is very simple, um, it's easy to do, you can have like up to four attachments on your gun if you really want to with the wild cards, um, camouflage is there, uh, easy to unlock as well, you can, um, you just have to get your headshots, which is as per usual, just, you know, standard Call of Duty thing. Um, I really I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, um, but the Juggernaut fridge you can get from the like advanced edition, that looks awesome. If you've seen it, it's just amazing. Go on YouTube and search the Juggernaut mini fridge or something, and it's this mini fridge which, when you open it, like makes a sound of um, different zombie noises every time you open it, and it's awesome. And they're super rare, and I really want one, but. There's no way in hell I'm forking out that amount of money for it. I don't even know how much it costs. It's probably ridiculous because as soon as they got um, released for sale, they sold out instantly. So they're quite rare. Um, so if you've got your hands on one, then you are very lucky because I am jealous and I want one. So please send it to me. I'll give you my address if you inbox me. Thank you. Love you forever. So I'm just gonna probably let out, let the rest of this gameplay play through. Um, I'll see you guys at the end. Alright, so we're coming to the end of this gameplay here. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. It's a very good game for me. Um, I believe I went like 40, 40 kills or something similar. I'll show you the leaderboard in a second. 
And at the end I'm going to show you my KD and what rank I am. There we go, look. There's the uh, kills to deaths. Quite a good game. Quite an average game for me though. Uh, so yeah, here I'm showing you my KD. So there you go, look, there's my KD. It's not bad at the minute. Hoping to keep that quite high. Level 35. And here's the uh, camo I unlocked. Look at it, looks awesome. Super shiny. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And thank you for watching Consocious Gaming signing out. See you guys. Hey guys, Consocious Gaming here. Both of us, motherfucker. Hello. We're doing, we're doing Q and A, bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, first question: What made you guys want to start this community? I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what. No, um, I can't really.